Hello and welcome. Firstly, please allow me to congratulate you on your recent purchase of the brand new MG4 EV Long Range Trophy. In this video, I will talk you through the exterior, interior and some of the technology features of your brand new car, aiming to try to proactively answer a few questions you may have before taking delivery of your brand new vehicle. Firstly, let's look at the front where we're introduced with the brand new MG um, LED headlamps. Also, in the middle here, we can see the front mounted camera and underneath we have the active grille shutter system which opens and closes um, when it identifies that the battery needs to be uh, to cool down. Moving on, we have the 17 inch alloy wheels and this being the trophy, it comes with the mirrors and the black, the black mirrors and the black roof, adding to the sporty aspects of the vehicle. Then we have this um, cover here, which is not just there for design, but it's actually the battery protector. And then another new introduction for the MG4 is, the, uh, is that they moved from the front to the side, the actual charger. Give me a second to open the car. There we go. Here we go. Not only that, we now have LED lights around it, which will come very, very handy um, in over the winter with the longer nights. So you will never miss, miss where you need to put your charging port. Moving on in the back, we have the beautiful twin aero kit. Look at that, which adds to the sporty aspect of this car. And as you will see, we don't have any uh, rain wiper to the back. That is because MG say suggests that due to aerodynamics and the drag created, the downforce created by the rear wind and also with the angle of the back, all the, all the rain will just flow down um, the, the rear of the vehicle. Also, we have these beautiful red aspects. I'm not sure if you can actually see it, which light up when, uh, when you brake to add again to the sporty looks and the design of this car. Let's just quickly open the boot. There we go. Plenty of space for the boot for anything you need to carry, at least for your daily activities, with space on the right and left hand side. And also if you need to carry larger items, you can um, fold the rear seats and uh, there's a 60-40 split. So you can, um, you're essentially just doubling, nearly doubling the capacity of the boot. To close the boot, simply there's a little space here, put your hands in and close the boot. Now, so let's go into the rear seats. As you will see, there is plenty of space for to sit five adults comfortably uh, for both long and short journeys. And also there are two isofix ports for child carrier carriers, both to the left and right hand side of this car. Also, you will see on the, on the driver and passenger from pas passenger seats, there is some space here to, uh, for storage and also plenty of space down here as well. Let's move to the front. As you will see, we have keyless entry here. So press once, it locks the car and indicated by the mirrors coming in, press twice and the mirrors come out. And as you will see on the mirrors, we, I don't know if you can see from the screen, but we have the blind spot warning right here on the trophy uh, model. Now on the driver's door, we have our central locking down here. And also down here, we have our front and rear electric windows. Let's move on to the seat, which is half uh, fabric, half nice leather. To move the over overall seat forward, uh, this is electrically adjustable. So press this lever forward, backwards for the seat to go backwards. If you need the seat to come up, press this up. And if you need the seat to go down, press this down. For this aspect of, of the seat, to put it down, simply press this lever down. And to put it forward, press this lever to the right hand side. Uh, in order to open the bonnet below the steering wheel, you'll see this lever here, press this towards you and the bonnet will open. Now let's move to the, um, to our mirrors, to our window mirrors, essentially to adjust the right hand side mirror, put it on our position and then you can go up, left, down and right. To do the same onto the left hand side, push it up, left, down and right. And when you're done, just put it into zero and you're done. Now let's sit on into the car. 
as you will see here the car just magically came to life without me touching anything because it recognizes that the driver with the keys are in the car so you don't need to press any buttons you don't need to put the key anywhere um, it, the car just identifies that you're here and it starts on its own now to move this beautiful steering wheel and adjust it to the perfect driving position for you behind it there is a lever down here push it down and then you can bring it towards you away from you up or down when you're happy with the position simply push this lever upwards and you're done now let's talk about our steering wheel on the right hand side we have on the top our telephone button which allows us to make uh, make calls on the in the middle we have this little icon which allows you to manage the right hand side of the driver's display so if i press it once you will see this logo appearing and i can navigate through them by moving uh, my mouse here to the right or left hand side you'll see while i'm going we can adjust the brightness levels um, we can see the music that is playing, the, um, how many bars are in the wheels, um, information about our journey, and also navigation, which is something new on the MG4, which you can see the guidance of your navigation here and also to the main screen. Now, we have our this star button, which um, let me show you how it works. You can map this star button by going into the overall menu in the car settings, and then convenient you will see here um, function for right star switching on steering wheel so you can set it up as either air conditioning or changing the source of the radio so let me show you an example if i press this one once it is mapped on the air conditioning so let me press this once and you will see the air conditioning information comes in uh, i can do this uh, for radio so if i press this um, if i can change the radio Another way to change the radio is, as we mentioned earlier, in the middle, we have this button, which allows you, if the logos come up, to navigate through the screen. Now, if I press it again, you will see the, the logos have gone down. And now, if I press this upwards, you will see the, the media volume going up. If I press the mouse downwards, the volume goes down. If I press it to the right hand side, you will see that I'm changing I can change the radio station of the car and if I push it to the left I can go to the previous radio station. Now let's move to the left hand side of the steering wheel where we have our voice command button. We also have our adaptive cruise control information which obviously it will not work now because I am stationary um, and then we have and also if you press the adaptive cruise control, you can use these buttons to select the distance that you would like your car to follow the car up front. Uh, and last but definitely not least, we have our left hand side star. Now, being the trophy, this allows you to map this key to a number of um, a number of functions that you can select from. To do that, simply go again on the bottom right hand side into the car logo again convenience and you will see function for left star switch on steering wheel you can select between vehicle control 360 which is our 360 camera energy recovery which is our cares and driver mode meaning you can say if i put it in if i select driver mode i will now show you down here you will see normal if i press it once it should change to sport press it twice custom snow Eco. Now, if I change this to energy recovery, which we can see the level of energy recovery down here, if I press my button, it should go to automatic or it should go into one, two, three. So it's quite convenient while you're on the road to change what you need. Um, and, and that's pretty much our steering wheel, which is very handy and very functional. Really nice to see. Now let's move into our digital driver's display, which is um, divided into three sections. On the left hand side, we have all the information about our adaptive cruise control, but also MG Pilot. So you can see cars around you moving in this digital form. You can see what gear you're in, etc. In the middle, we can see the time, the traffic sign recognition, the miles per hour we're driving at the moment. Also, you can see um, the battery, the remaining 
battery percentage and the remaining uh, miles in range and also uh, your driver mode that you're in right now and to the right hand side as we explained earlier uh, this is where you use this button here to navigate through the overall menu brilliant moving on into the central console here we have plenty of space uh, for storage and also this is at the perfect position for uh, for an armrest more space down here and storage space here with two cup holder space spaces excuse me and now in, down here we have our 12 volt socket a USB-C port and a USB port which um, comes together with this wireless charging pad here which I'll, I'll, I'll just demonstrate now just put your phone there and it should start charging immediately and there's a notification coming up here also what you will see is uh, two holes here which essentially allows you when you put a usb or a usb-c here to not have a mess with a with all the cables down here it allows you to put the cable from this port down in here and through um and through this uh this hole here again it's just to tidy up the overall interior of the car moving on we have this floating central console as you will see where you will find your electric handbrake and also your gearbox lever to put the car into drive um, switch this um, lever slightly to the right hand side to put it into neutral slightly into onto the left hand side and to reverse slightly to the left hand side as well to park just press this uh, inwards and you're parked let me put this in reverse so I can show you the 360 camera as soon as you put the car in reverse this is the screen that automatically comes in uh, you can see fr uh, from the top the overall car and also right behind you but from here you can select what camera angle you wish um, you should be able to see essentially oh this is because I'm in reverse now let me just put it back in parking and let me find the reverse for you um, the, the 360 camera excuse me there we go 360 there we go so we can select what angle we want to see which is pretty clever stuff pretty impressive and nice to have it, it, it makes parking relatively easy uh, even at the tighter spots let me move back now and talk about this overall lovely 10.25 inch infotainment system we have information about our weather on the top left uh, left hand side what you will see here is a quick button for our fog lights so just press that and the fog lights come up press that again and they turn off below that we have our apple carplay and android auto next to it we have all the information about our charging um, this is where you're going to see the, the remaining battery percentage the remaining range um, etc and now something new with the with, with mg4 is the vehicle to load capacity which you can find in the discharge settings so assuming you have plugged in whatever you want to charge say it's a laptop it's a lamp or whatever you can go here and then start discharging and you will um you will immediately send energy electricity from your car's batteries into the device you want to charge another thing that is brand new is the energy consumption on the car where you can see essentially your overall efficiency the way you use the battery the energy flow and uh the chart here showing you how you do so you can uh, become more efficient while you drive the car sorry i'm just gonna put the air conditioning there we go um so to move back from every screen you can either hit the home button from there or from a shortcut so let me just go into radio if i want to go back it's either this key the home button or the home button here there we go uh moving on we have our radio dab or fm and then we have our navigation our navigation system built-in satellite navigation uh, pretty easy to sort out so let's let's just see how we can do it um, let's put the address that Lascoms are currently in so that is LS 10 1 QR there we go and simply press go and here we are and what this will do now if I show if I show you here this in the middle and go to navigation 
as you will see it works in combination with your sad enough to give you information in front of you uh, minimizing the time you spent turning to see the screen and making the car even safer um, so that's pretty nice and pretty handy handy to have and that's not all now if I scroll to the left you will see we have the AC again information our radio let's go into vehicle let's go into driving this is where you find your driving modes. So we have snow, eco, normal, sport, and custom. So if I click on custom, it allows me to change the horsepower, steering wheel, and pedal force to exactly what I want it to be. So say if I feel sporty, I'll put my horsepower to sport, steering wheel into heavy, and pedal force into heavy. For increased fuel efficiency, um, excuse me, battery efficiency, you can put everything into eco and you can just play with it exactly and make it exactly uh, dr drive exactly as you would like it to drive below that we have um, we have our energy recovery so we have weak medium strong and adaptive what is adaptive I hear you ask well while you drive and depending on the road conditions and the distance between you and the car up front the car applies the best level of energy recovery to increase your over overall battery efficiency so while you're on the motorway i would highly suggest to just have it on adaptive uh, which uses more when the car needs to and less when the car doesn't need the energy recovery next to it we have the mg pilot which is essentially the suit of a advanced driver assistance systems you can switch them off um, or essentially change them we have traffic recognition lane keep assist um, alert sensitivity there is a number of forward collision co uh, mitigation there is a number of driver advanced driver assistance systems aiming to keep you and your loved ones safe, safe while on the road then we have convenience which we touched earlier on this is where you can apply whatever setting you would like onto the left and right hand side stuff uh, and then we have lighting and safety another thing I want to talk to you about is how you can connect your Bluetooth to this car so if you scroll and go into settings as you will see on the right hand side we have Bluetooth and this is where you can connect now if I go into general quickly you can select your brightness you can select let me put it a bit brighter there we go you can select if you want the dark theme um, the light theme or automatic which essentially when it's sunny and when it's a day outside it will be white when it's darker it goes into dark the dark theme let's just leave it into dark um, for the moment then we have our wireless network Wi-Fi and that's pre and then we have our volume settings we have our voice commands here and then I want to show you another fancy thing that the MG4 comes with so if I scroll to the left you will see here user what does this do this is where you go to connect essentially your car with the MG iSmart mobile application when you download that application and register with MG uh, they will ask you the, the, the application will ask you to scan using your mobile's camera this QR code and essentially you have just now paired your phone to this car so you can make a number of distant um, commands to the car such as locking it unlocking it uh, starting the air conditioning uh, starting the defrosting etc uh, which is which is very nice and handy to, to, to know and have but essentially this is where you find MG iSmart you come into user and it's all ready for you there to use let me show you also the um, the air conditioning so if you scroll you will see on the top left hand side AC so if you press that this is where the AC is it's all touch screen so you can decrease or increase intensity uh, let me decrease intensity excuse me you can hear this is where you increase or decrease your temperature and this is where you find the heated seats as well and also the heated steering wheel which I know will come nice and handy in the winter days especially here in the UK you can change the airflow from uh, from here and also close the whole thing from here or from the shortcut there we go we're now on 
and we're now off. Brilliant. This now concludes our video for the MG4 EV Trophy Long Range. I hope you have found this video useful and informative. If you have any more questions about the car or how to operate its functionalities, please do not hesitate to give us a call here at Lascoms at 0113-277-6099 and a member of our sales team will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.